Tens of thousands of women across Iceland, including the Prime Minister, are staging a 24-hour strike over gender inequality. Prime Minister Jakobs Dottir said the fight for equal treatment was moving too slowly. It's the first all-women strike held in the country for nearly 50 years. Let's talk now to Rosa Björk Brynjolfs Dottir, who's a former member of Parliament of Iceland. Uh, welcome to the programme. Thanks for joining us. Uh, so, uh, Thank you, you so much. you've got the Prime Minister, amongst others, uh, stopping work. Uh, how much of an impact will this strike cause? I mean, this is the first, as you mentioned in, in your in your foreword, this is the first women or women uh, women strikes in 48 years in Iceland. Uh, women in Iceland did that on the same day in 1975. And actually, we are still today. It's it's amazing to see all the the, the women and and uh, non-binary people gathering out in the streets of Reykjavik, the capital. Fortunately, we have a great weather in in Reykjavik and in Iceland, uh, so it's uh, it's really uh, plentiful of joy and unity and uh, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, a lot of people gathering or women gathering in the streets of Reykjavik. So that's just wonderful to see all this unity where, where women are demanding um, gender justice. And of course, the businesses has already, and, and of course, schools and health uh, institution has, of course, felt the, felt, uh, the impact of women strikes today in Iceland. And that's just revealing the necessity of women who, as a, as a, as a great, uh, great part of the, the, women, the working force in Iceland. So you mentioned the, the, the uh, previous all-women strike in Iceland uh, 48 years ago. That one did make a difference, didn't it? Uh, can this one? Uh, well, let's hope so. That's, that's actually the demand of the women who are going on a strike today. We are still faced with uh, gender-based violence, which is a major concern in our country, and, and domestic violence. And women's income is still 21% lower than the income of men. So that, that is uh, injustice that has to be turned around. But uh, the strike in 1975 that had a major input, uh, we, uh, we elected uh, women as the first leader, the first woman who was a leader of a, a democ democratic uh, republic uh, country uh, a few years later in 1981 when we elected Madame Vidis Fimpotovtre as the president of Iceland and we also saw in the aftermath of the last strike uh, 48 years ago we saw a creation of a feminist political party that actually put the number of uh, elected members or women as an elected members uh, up so that that had a major impact on the political life and situation of women in Iceland at the time. You could say, though, uh, that uh, all the other countries in the world uh, will be looking at Iceland with envy because it's actually been ranked the best country in the world for gender equality by the World Economic Forum uh, for 14 years in a row. Uh, so it must be doing something right. Yes, we are doing something right. We have, for example, we have now uh, a woman who is the prime minister. She's been prime minister since 2016. We have uh, six ministers who are women out of, out of 12. So half of our ministers are women. We have 47.6% of the members of the parliament are women. We have a very a huge part of the working force are women, as we can witness today, when they, they're going on strike. But still, as I mentioned, we are still paid less than men. We are faced with gender-based violence, and the justice system is not that good. So we have been fighting for improvement uh, in the justice system. So even us in Iceland, we have a very good situation when it comes to gender equality. We still have a lot of things to... To fight for, and the Me Too movement in 2017 revealed um, misogyny in every aspect of our society, as elsewhere in the world. Rosa, good to talk to you. Thank you for joining us today. That's Rosa Björk Brynjolfsdottir, the former Member of Parliament of Iceland.